A controversial white supremacist has set his sights on the University of Florida. As News Channel 8's Melissa Marina reports, local leaders are speaking out against his visit. Those we spoke with say the biggest issue with this event is student safety. Just days after a weekend filled with racial hatred, violence, and murder in Charlottesville, Virginia, the University of Florida may be forced to host Richard Spencer, president of the National Policy Institute. The white supremacist group has requested space on the Gainesville campus for an event on September 12th. Where do we draw that line? Are we going to let the head of ISIS show up at our universities and decide to uh, open up and, and have a conversation with our students or the leader of a, of a gang or any of those? There's, there has to be a parameter in place. State Senator Kelly Stargell, who has a district office in Lakeland, is speaking out against the visit. This is not just the public square. This is, this is uh, not the, the street corner. This is an actual institution that has other things they have to consider as well. The University of Florida president says Spencer's presence on campus would be deeply disturbing, but by law, the school could not discriminate against the group. Following so closely on the heels of this violent outburst in Charlottesville, uh, we have to be concerned for student safety. Local political science professor Bruce Anderson says the school has every right to stop the event in the name of student safety. I think they can simply say, you know, we have, you know, 60,000 people on this campus that could be under threat. Well, we don't invite trouble. You don't invite violence. Stargell says it's time for the university and others to change policy. Free speech always has a cost, and it doesn't need to be the death of innocent people. The event is not yet set in stone. However, the Gainesville Police Department has posted about it on their Facebook page, saying they're aware of it, and they will keep monitoring it. Melissa Marino, News Channel 8.